Yeah, I, I heard that from people. Uh, from people, I mean, uh, for me, it's uh, quite funny actually, because uh, Hong Kong is in the tropics. I think it's mm. something like eighteen or twenty degrees north, something like that. So the solar insulation is is uh, very dense here. Mm. Uh, it's high energy uh, insulation you have compared to what we have in Germany. Mm. Uh, but in Germany, we have now about I. I think 26 or 27 gigawatt of solar power mm. in installed, mm. and Hong Kong hardly have mm. uh, maybe one megawatt or two mm. megawatt, mm. something like that. So this is uh, 0.01 or maybe gigawatt. Uh, so th this is uh, it's not, not easy to understand, especially now uh, as the solar. Uh, panels have to be have to become so cheap. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm actually I'm, I'm living on Lama, or I lived on Lama for the last two weeks, and I, I was really uh, astonished that I didn't see any solar panel there. That not, mm -hmm. not even one. I had the idea to to buy one from China, which is uh, now mm -hmm. well, th this is now compared to four years earlier, dirty cheap. It's a very cheap way uh, to produce uh, energy, mm. electricity. Um, how about this uh, kind of thinking that um, uh, the, the, some members of the public may have, which is to, to say that, oh, um, um, the, 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 it's too small scale, this kind of thing. It's just for, for fun. Um, for serious electricity generation, we have to have you know, serious stuff like uh, nuclear or, or coal or um, gas and so on. And uh, it's just for you know a couple of uh, lutites you might like to you know install some windmill <laughs> in your backyard. <laughs> I, well, I don't know what is serious about using up uh, in, in energy use, which is uh, not uh, renewable. <laughs> I mean, if we go on using coal, burning coal, as we do now, and building up more and more coal plants, as it is done, then, then we will uh, run out of coal in about 40 or 50 years. And China will even earlier run out of its own uh, coal supplies, although it is the biggest producer in the world. It has become, I think two or three years ago, a net importer. So, it's, uh, although it is the biggest uh, producer of coal, it now has even to import uh, for coal from Australia and probably from the U.S. as well. So, so I don't know what what that means, serious. I, I mean, there are these examples like uh, that some countries, uh, and not small countries, like Germany now is able to produce 20% of its electricity or renewable. And this amount or uh, this share is rising each year. So in, we had in 2010, we had 6.1% uh, uh, share of renewables. And last year, we had already like something like 20.1%. Uh, so and, and will rise further. So the, some economists are saying, if you go on in this speed, as uh, setting up renewable energy sources, and then we could have be at 100% uh, renewables in 2030. So this is an 18 year yes, sign yeah. only, yeah. which is very quick. So, uh, well, obviously it's a serious thing. It yeah. works. <laughs> so, but maybe, maybe again, it's it's also a question of ideology because. Uh, well, if, if everybody, if house owners just have their own uh, solar panels and uh, producing their own energy, then everything is a little bit more decentralized and, and it's not that the big guys can, can control everything. Yeah. yeah uh, I think uh, I think subsidies is a big big issue. Um, people are always talking or blaming renewables and saying it's only possible 
with subsidies. That's mm. what, what we know from Germany. Mm. But uh, at the same time, so there's a lot of subsidies are going into the fossil fuels, in mm. coal, mm -hmm. also it's in, never in, in, in oil. Mm. So in, uh, globally, it's about uh, something like 400 billion of US dollar each year in subsidies in, into uh, fossil fuels. And as far as I understood, this is also in Hong Kong ca uh, part of the problem that, that the electricity uh, is, which comes from coal and nuclear, is uh, basically quite subsidized. Mm. So, and if it wouldn't be like that, then uh, at least house owners would would, uh, would start uh, producing uh, electricity from solar already because it would be cheaper. Mm. If they, if you would really pay the real cost for the coal electricity, mm. so, uh, but I mean that's a little bit like with big oil in in, in, in the U.S. It's just such a good business. And you even uh, get the government to subsidize this, and go, it goes on and on like this, and and. Uh, at the same time you try to suppress renewables so that it, it's mm. going on even longer. Mm. But then we will be at some point, and maybe in 10 years or 15 years time, that the uh, oil and also coal and uranium mm. are becoming rare. Mm. And then the prices will go up. Mm. And if we don't have the alternatives then, that if we j still depend that very much on coal and oil then, then we will be forced to, to pay very high prices. Yeah. So that, that's why, why these uh, companies are so much against renewables and say it's not serious. Because they know that they are going to make a very good business. Yeah. Where, when we, uh, I mean, it's like, like, uh, like drug addiction. Yeah. Yeah? I, I get you addicted yeah. to, to drugs and, and then I, I'm your dealer. I'm, and you, you pay me any price for yeah. to get the drug. And it's mm -hmm. the same with fossil fuels. And that's why they're telling uh, renewals is not serious. Mm -hmm. And of course the same place happens in nuclear. And they're telling us that the 25 percent um, nuclear that we are consuming cannot be dropped. Yeah. Uh, and maybe even more uh, that we're going to need in the future. Uh -huh. At least the 25% cannot be dropped, and it's all that they're um, uh, out of their profit motive. <laughs> yeah, but, but if you look at, at the energy consumption rate in Hong Kong as well and in and, and mainland China, then you realize that uh, they are, if you compare it on a per capita basis <laughs> or on, on a per GP, uh, it needs a per economic output basis mm -hmm. compared to, to industrialized or to developed countries mm -hmm. is still very high. So yeah. the energy efficiency uh, in Hong Kong as well as mainland China is, is very low. Mm -hmm. and, and the government actually is, is having a plan, a successful plan, uh, saying uh, to, to, ra to raise efficiency. Mm -hmm. So uh, it has been get, it's all, has been getting better in the, in the last years, but there's still still much uh, what, what could be done even better. So so why instead of saying well we are just consuming more and more energy in Hong Kong, and saying well no our population is not rising anymore. We are not really an industrial city; it's just a, a service city. So we we actually could drop energy consumption. We could do a lot about energy efficiency, mm -hmm. which is actually somehow a policy of the central government. Mm -hmm. So, you, I think we, you should ask the officials here in Hong Kong to yeah. put into force the the, go the yeah. government's yeah. policy yeah. and become actually, more efficient. Go the government statistics show that um, just a couple of years. Ago, the statistics, statistics show that uh, by just by conservation, yeah. um, Hong Kong can cut uh, uh, by forty yeah. percent the carbon emission. Yeah. And uh, it's just that 
it didn't lead to um, the corresponding policy uh -huh. to to improve the general situation uh -huh. of our uh, energy consumption yeah. or uh, less consumption <laughs> of energy. But I mean, I I, I don't want to uh, how to say to to tell people here what to do. <laughs> And it's not, it's not at all that, that everything in Germany is, is good. I know that very much from Germany as well. There's a lot of talk that we should do more conservation, uh, and there are official figures uh, that we uh, should reduce electricity consumption by 10%. But, but uh, actually policy uh, on that is, is lagging. So if it comes so really uh, down to the... Uh, measures wi yeah. which should be taken now, then they really, the, the government is always backing back and yeah. giving in to uh, special interests of yeah. industry, yeah. of of uh, housing companies and, and stuff like that. Yeah. So I know that it's always a power game and it's also always in, in uh, who has to pay. They always want to make us, this is the citizens, the consumers yeah. pay and, and the profits going to the companies. Well, to the housing companies.